Everton have today voted in favour of the Premier League in the vote for associated party transactions. The Premier League won, if you like, the vote against Manchester City by 16 votes to four. Everton were in the 16 who voted against City. Um, I wonder if there was a change. Everton reportedly voted with City last time it was done, but this was the sort of main vote today to decide it going forward. And the way to look at it, there's been varying sort of views on it, but I think the way to look at it is Everton have voted with what suits them the best, what what is going to help them more. And therefore, I don't think if, if Everton would have been concerned about this vote, they wouldn't have voted with the Premier League. I'm hoping Everton have gone to the Premier League. Hurry up with this sort of takeover and we'll we'll vote with you. Uh, let's, let's hope that's what it is. So it'll be interesting to see the fallout of it because Manchester City threatening to take this to court now as well, threatening the Premier League with litigation because of it. So we need to see what happens as this story moves forward. But as of right now, Everton have voted with the Premier League against City and were part of 16 clubs who did the same. Everton have today been linked with Corinthian striker Yori Alberto. Uh, a fee of around £17 million has been bandied about for the 23-year-old striker. He has scored 27 goals this year. West Ham, he's Newcastle have had a look at him, Forrest as well. Everton have been linked with him before. Uh, he has made no sort of um, secrets of his desire to play in the Premier League. Everton are thought to be in the market for another striker. Obviously, there's, much, there's concerns over Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He's out of contract next June. Doesn't look like he's going to be sticking around as of now. And obviously, there's continual links with Beto and leaving the club in, as early as January. Everton do have, obviously, Armando Breuer on loan. And we also have Yusuf Chimiti. But there is some sort of... Uh, a, well, not agreement isn't the right word. There is a thought that Yusuf Chimiti may well be allowed to leave on loan in January to just build up his, his minutes, Everton want him to develop. But there is a long-term plan for Chimiti. They do see him as a, our number nine moving forward. And obviously Everton are hopeful that Breuer will, will do well this season and then Everton make that deal permanent next summer. But they do look like they're in the market for another striker as well if... Don does move on, and certainly if Beto moves on in January. So, <coughs> excuse me, Alberto is an interesting one. There was also a very, very loose link to Evan Ferguson today. I've not really made much of it because apparently he is a he. There's a, some sort of stories knocking around that he wants to leave Brighton in January, maybe on loan. He'd be one happy all over if he was if he was going to be available to loan. Whether he come here is a different thing. But there you go. Everton seem to be linked with a lot of strikers of late. So. It's only to be expected with, obviously, Dominic Calvert-Lewin and that stuff up in the air. Uh, and again, like I say, the, the thing with Beto, every week he's linked with someone different. So feels like he may move on in January. Who knows? Uh, Everton have today announced a multi-year partnership with a leading Ukrainian vodka. Globally recognised, Nemirov have become the club's official premium vodka partner. Uh, Richard Kenyon, Everton's chief commercial and community... Uh, com Comms officer, what the, I can't even read my own writing, said we are pleased to welcome Nemirov into our growing partnership portfolio. I mean, do Everton have a premium vodka partner and a non-premium vodka partner? That's what I'm keen to know. It's interesting, but listen, lots of clubs do this. Now they build up their portfolio, partnering with lots of companies, and um, Nemirov become Everton's latest partner. Everton midfielder Oral Mangala has revealed that former Everton midfielder Amadou Onana spoke to him before he decided to join the club on loan from Lyon. He said that Onana had nothing but good things to say about Everton Football Club, reiterating what a big club Everton are, and said good things about the fans, which helped uh, Mangala make his mind up quite quickly. So that's nice to hear Onana recommending Everton. And finally, Toffee TV is sponsoring the Flag Day at Goodison Park tomorrow against Brentford. Uh, some of our sponsorship has gone on the Illiman and Jai flag. There it is, as you've just seen on the video. Um, it should be a good day. 
get those flags waving. Let's get the, the atmosphere bouncing and get the three points, three much-needed points uh, tomorrow at Goodison Park. Listen, I know the 1878s were looking for volunteers to help um, once you're in the stadium tomorrow. If you're interested in doing that, uh, make sure you drop them a message, probably on X, something like that on their account. They are looking for volunteers. Um so if you're interested in doing that, hit them up on there. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Check out the match preview for the Brentford game. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Have a fantastic weekend and let's hope the Toffees pick up three massive points tomorrow. See you later.